Hi students, today let's discuss regarding autosclerosis. So the definition of autosclerosis, it is a primary disease of the body labyrinth. So it is mainly characterized by fixation of the stapes, the oval window, due to the deposition of newborn in the annular ligament of the stapes. So autosclerosis means, auto means something related to ear, isn't it? So it is a primary disease of the bony labyrinth. In the inner ear, there will be two kinds of membranes, namely bony labyrinth and membranous labyrinth, isn't it? So when we were discussing regarding the anatomy of the external ear or anatomy of the ear, we had seen mainly the two forms of um, labyrinth, okay. Bony labyrinth as well as membranous labyrinth. So autosclerosis means it is a primary disease of the Bony labyrinth. So it is mainly characterized by the fixation of the stapes in the inner ear. In the ear, there will be three forms or three types of uh, ear bonds are present. They are malleus incus and stapes, isn't it? So stapes is most the smallest bond in our body. So it will be fixed to the oval window. So that is the main problem in August virus. Okay, this mainly is fixed due to the deposition of new bond in the annular ligament of the stapes. Okay, that is the reason to fix that stapes to the oval window. So it is otherwise called as autospongiosis. Okay, so before going to know the more details regarding this uh, disease condition, you should know what is oval window because autosclerosis means it's fixation of status to the oval window isn't it so oval window means it is always called as fenestra vestibule it is a membrane covered opening that leads from the middle ear to the vestibule of the inner ear oval window it is just near the stapes. So stapes can be seen in the middle ear. Okay, middle ear can be seen in the middle ear. Stapes can be seen So all the middle ear is a membrane covered opening that leads from the middle ear. Middle ear is vestibule of the inner ear. Connected in a membrane covered opening in a oval window. So all the sclerosis is a patient in a stapes or oval window is fixed. So this is the picture of ear. This is the external ear and this is the middle ear. Here you can see this is the stapes. Okay, this is stapes. Okay, in this picture you can see that this is the oval window. The cherry picture, So uh, see this picture. This is the stapes. This malleus, incus, and stapes. Stapes will be fixed or attached to the oval window. So this is normal. The normal anna. This autosclerosis, there will be accumulation or new bond can be seen at the annular ligament of that stapes. And if we have a picture of the bone growth, 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 depositions of the bone. This is autosclerosis, there will be deposition of bone. Okay. So the types, mainly the autosclerosis is divided into three forms, that is stapedial, cochlear and histology. These are the main important forms of or types of autosclerosis. We can see each one in detail. So this is a picture of stapes. This is deposition of newborn. Okay, this is autosclerosis. So stapedial auto Sclerosis means it causes stapes fixation and conductive deafness. Conduction is the external and middle ear function. So middle ear functioning is the adipate bone moments. We have the bone moment and vibrate to moment in the conductive system. So suppose if the fixation of this tape has happened to the oval window, the conductive system may not function properly and it can reach the conductive deafness. Lesions start just in front of that oval window. Stapedial autosclerosis is something like this tape, isn't it? So the tape is fixation is there. So it can happen or the lesion or the bone growth can be just start, uh, seen in front of that oval window. Okay. So, uh, in stapes in the parts, this is head portion, neck, anterior crest, 
food plate and posterior crust or lip. In the middle part of the ocean, we have to do the classifications. We have to do the classifications. We have to do the Okay, this is head, this is neck, this is anterior crust, this is the food plate, and this is posterior crust or lip. Okay, I hope you got uh, an idea regarding a structural steps. Excellent. Then the types of stapedial autosclerosis. Stapedial autosclerosis types are anterior focus, posterior focus, circumferential, biscuit type, and obliterate. So, if we discuss the first is stapedial. So, anterior focus. So, anterior focus is anterior, anterior cross in the bony growth. Of so, it is called as an autosclerotic agent on the anterior cross. So, it is called as anterior focus. Then, B is posterior focus. Posterior focus is either. So, that's why we have posterior relation to the posterior focus of that. Posterior focus of sleep is. Then, C is circumferential, which means food plate in a system. So, that is circumferential. Food plate in a system relations are another. D is a biscuit type. So, Biscuit type, enter food plate will be having this lesion and EN or an obliterative. So, when comparing with the other part, the lesions will be more in case of obliterate or the posterior as well as anterior portions only, then food plate to and the margin cell and cover So, this is the types of stipidal autosomes. I hope you clear this picture. Okay, anterior focus, posterior focus, circumferential, biscuit type, and obliterate. Okay. So this is another picture. Autosclerosis at the anterior food plate. For sure, where the picture on the bony growth on the anterior portions and autosclerosis at the junction of the incus and stapes. Either incus on the tachy in the partilla. This is the portion. Incusum, stapes and connect in the partilla. Bony growth to it. The next is cochlear autosclerosis. Till now, we were discussing regarding one of the autosclerosis, that is stapedial autosclerosis. Next is cochlear autosclerosis. It involves regions of the round window. That is stapedial fixation and the round window annulation start with the it may cause sensory neural hearing loss. Stapedial autosclerosis discuss either about the conductive hearing loss and the sensory neural hearing loss. This part is important and you can examine the same differentiation so you can stand some. Again, like a specific geometry in the point of view. Okay, since you are hearing loss, then histologic autosclerosis is more in the it remains asymptomatic and causes neither conductive or sensory neural hearing loss. If we are asymptomatic hearing patient, conductive hearing loss, sensory neural hearing loss, when comparing with other two forms, it is asymptomatic in nature. Okay. Then etiology. Etiology is common for all three types of autosclerosis. First is age. It usually begins at the age of 20 and 30 years of age. It increases as age advances. Age is the insurance. Sex common in females. It increases during the pregnancy period. Then hereditary means about 50% of cases have was the family history. If one, one of the members in the family is infected with autosclerosis, there will be higher chances for getting this disease in the family relationship. Okay. The blood group. In a family, the affected members may have the same blood group. So blood group is also having another factor in or is another responsible factor in developing autosclerosis than race. White race are affected more than Negroes. It is more common in Indian, but rare among Chinese and Japanese. In this, uh, there is some um, uh, relationship between the race and this incidence of this disease. So it can be seen more in Indians when comparing with that of Chinese because the incidence of this disease, uh, this disease is very really rare in Chinese. Then metabolic factors, calcium metabolism disturbances are thought to be responsible for this condition because the calcium is the primary mineral which is responsible for autosclerosis. So um, calcium metabolism disturbances are thought to be responsible for this condition as there is deposition of newborn initially. If you have sclerosis, then you will character to page one, there will be new formation of a bone. So other than calcium metabolism, autosclerosis will be related to Then generalized osseous disease. Osseous disease means something related to the 
bone disease, isn't it? First is Van der Hout syndrome. It is autosclerosis may occur as part of this disease. So Van der Hout syndrome, osteitis deformance, na ko parayon na mga bone ni affect yun na diseases ang so ang diseases varyo mo, adin yung characteristic feature ang na autosclerosis na parayon. Okay, then osteitis deformance disorder is called as Page's disease. Conductive hearing loss may be a feature of this disease. So this is a connection with this osteitis disease with the autosclerosis. Then next is the pathology. Till now we were discussing regarding what is autosclerosis, its type and the causative factors. Next is the pathology. Grossly, autosclerotic lesion appears chalky, white, grayish or yellow. Sometimes it is red in color due to increased vascularity. So initial inflation can be chalky white color, like grayish and yellow. Later stages like Red color color. This is mainly due to the increased vascularity. Increased blood supply to that particular region, it will be appeared as a red color. Microscopically, spongy bone occur in the normally dense endochondrial and end control layers of the otic capsule in immature active lesions there are numerous marrow and vascular spaces with plenty of osteoblast and osteoclast and a lot of cement substance which stains blue with a microscopically the mini animation seven down on a okay in the microscopic view there will be plenty of osteoblast and osteoclast can be seen in this lesion okay so this is a picture Histologic autosclerosis with small focus in the anterior organ. ERO can be taken in the lesion. Clinical autosclerosis, the lesion has spread across the annular ligament and fixed the stages. Okay. Then, the autosclerotic process is divided into two phases. Histologically, histologically pathology requirement. There will be two phases of autosclerosis there. The early phase means autospongiosis. We are talking about autosclerosis. We are talking about another term, autospongiosis. When we were discussing regarding the first slide, we had seen that the another term for osteosclerosis, that is autospongiosis. So, autospongiosis means it will be having an appearance of Spongy like appearance, bone resorptions and increased vascularity can be seen in autospongiosis. Late stage autosclerosis, the reabsorbed bone is replaced with dense sclerotic bone. And the bone resorption and the venous spongy like appearance on the bone in the calcium deposition as well as spongy like appearance on the autospongiosis. That is the first stage or the early stage. Later stage of autosclerosis, that is reabsorbed in the bone, automatically have a dense sclerotic bone and replace it with the second stage. Then the signs. Signs of autosclerosis, eardrum appears to be normal and mobile. Eardrum in the average chain is not going to be. Sometimes a reddish patch may be present on the promontory and may be visible through eardrum. Usually eardrum is normal. In the later stage, the reddish patch is going to be seen. In the later stage, the reddish patch is going to be seen. It is one of the indications of autosclerosis. Now, the throat and the eustachian tubes are normal. That part is clear. Only the defect can be seen in this tape is an expert. So, this is a picture of autoscopy. Normal human membrane is seen in most cases. Pinkish color over promotely seen autospongiosis. 10% of cases that is called as Schwartz sign or flamingo pink bluish. This is pinkish color. Pinkish color, reddish color. It is called as Schwartz sign. The symptoms of autosclerosis vertigo, then pain, autoria, Speech soft and monotonous speech, which in this means it's a ringing sensation in the ear. It can be seen in cochlear forms of autosclerosis. We will discuss the moment autosclerosis. Cochlear autosclerosis is the hearing loss. It's a presenting symptom. It increases progressively. It tends to be bilateral. Hearing loss is a later stage. Okay. Paracusis will be seen. An autosclerotic patient hears better in noisy than quiet surroundings. This is because a normal person will raise his voice in noisy surroundings. Paracusis will be seen. It is a phenomenon, which means the patient can hear the noises sound very clear. 
എപ്പോഴും ശബ്ദം കൂടുതൽ കുറച്ച് ഒത്തിരി ബഹളം വെക്കുന്ന ആ ഒരു സാഹചര്യത്തിലാണ് കൂടുതൽ നന്നായിട്ട് കേൾക്കാനായിട്ട് സാധിക്കുന്നത് എന്താണെന്ന് ചോദിച്ചാല് എപ്പോഴും നോയിസസ് ആണ് അതിൽ ഒത്തിരി ശബ്ദം ഒത്തിരി ബഹളം എന്നുള്ള സമയത്ത് നമുക്ക് എന്തായാലും ഓട്ടോമാറ്റിക്കലി നമ്മൾ ഒച്ച കൂട്ടിയാണ് സംസാരിക്കുന്നത് അല്ലെ അതുകൊണ്ട് അവര് നോയിസി സൗണ്ട്സ് കുറച്ചുകൂടെ ക്ലിയർ ആയിട്ട് കൊയറ്റ് സൗണ്ട് റൗണ്ടിങ്ങിനെക്കാളും കുറച്ചുകൂടെ ക്ലിയർ ആയിട്ട് നോയിസ് സൗണ്ടിങ്ങിൽ പേഷ്യന്റ് കേൾക്കാനായിട്ട് സാധിക്കുന്നു ഇറ്റ് ഇസ് നത്തിങ് ബട്ട് ഡ്യൂ ടു ദാറ്റ് നോർമൽ പേഴ്സൺ വിൽ വൈസ് ഇസ് വോയിസ് ഇൻ നോയിസ് സൗണ്ട് ഇപ്പോഴും നമ്മൾ ഒച്ച കൂടുതൽ കൊയറ്റ് സറൗണ്ടിങ്ങിൽ ആയിരിക്കത്തില്ല ഒച്ച കൂടുതൽ നോയിസ് സറൗണ്ടിങ്ങിൽ ആയിരിക്കും അതുകൊണ്ട് തന്നെ ഇത്തരം പേഷ്യൻസിൽ നോയിസ് സറൗണ്ടിങ്സ് നന്നായിട്ട് കേൾക്കാനായിട്ട് സാധിക്കും ദൻ ഇൻവെസ്റ്റിഗേഷൻസ് എന്റെ ഹിസ്റ്ററി കളക്ഷൻ വി ക്യാൻ കളക്ട് ദി ഹിസ്റ്ററി റിഗാർഡിംഗ് ദ സയൻസ് ഓഫ് സിംറ്റംസ് ഓഫ് സിംറ്റംസ് ഓട്ടോറി ആണെങ്കിൽ പെയിൻ ആണെങ്കിൽ നമുക്ക് ചോദിക്കാം പേഷ്യൻസ് ഓഫ് ഹിയറിംഗ് ലോസ് ഹിയറിംഗ് ലോസ് ഉണ്ടെങ്കിൽ അല്ലെങ്കിൽ ഓട്ടോറിയ ഫോം ഓഫ് ഡിസ്ചാർജ് സേർസ് ഡിസ്ചാർജ് ആണോ അല്ലെങ്കിൽ ബ്ലഡ് അങ്ങനത്തെ ആണോ നമുക്ക് ചോദിക്കാം ദെൻ ഇത് ഫിസിക്കൽ എക്സാമിനേഷൻ യു ക്യാൻ അസ് ദി ഇയർ അതായത് ഓട്ടോസ്കോപ്പ് യൂസ് ചെയ്തിട്ട് നമുക്ക് ഷോർട്ട് സൈൻ അങ്ങനത്തെ കാര്യങ്ങളൊക്കെ അസസ് ചെയ്യാനായിട്ട് സാധിക്കും then in the history direction also we can collect whether the patient had any family history of this disease and the age can be assessed okay so these informations can be collected from the history then tonic for test to assess patient's hearing ability we can perform this tonic for test that it will reveal a conductive hearing loss negative renal test and number renal test number initial slides in the last class we will discuss it on renal test or web test okay okay So, renal test will be negative, which shows bony conduction more than air conduction. Okay, then audiometry, audiometry will show slight reduction in bone conduction, which is supposed to be caused by increase in the mass of the food plate. Bone conduction will be affected by the food plate affected by the bone conduction. That will be evidence in audiometry. Then, impedance audiometry. We had discussed regarding what kind of audiometry. We will discuss a pulse type audiometry. Discuss with them. Okay. Impedance audiometry will show reduced compliance and absent stepidial reflex. Then, how we can treat this disease? The treatment includes medical management, surgical management, and hearing aid. Medical management, there is no specific medical management. for this autosclerosis but there is a suggestion that sodium fluoride in a dose of 20 mg twice a day with calcium is of advantage to arrest the rapid progress of autosclerosis autosclerosis is specific to medical management illa actually our assumption in our reading we will say sodium fluoride it can be combined with calcium at a dose of 20 mg at the frequency of twice a day it is mainly to arrest or to suppress the rapid progress of this disease the main management of autosclerosis is by surgical management or surgical therapy it includes first stepectomy step is mobilization and penetration these are the main important surgeries that can be performed to re- recover from this disease stepectomy ectomy means removal step is means step is ectomy uh, means removal of step There is fixed autosclerotic stapes is removed and a process is inserted between the incus and the oval window. So automatically, incus in an oval window can be a stapes. So the sclerotic stapes needs to be removed and a process can be inserted between this incus and oval window. The processes employed may be at the front piston. processes will be having a different texture that is either we can use teflon piston stainless steel piston platinum teflon or titanium teflon piston pala tarathilla processes use cheyam complete and sclerotic lesions on the steps are removed in the shape of the process like that pala idilla processes are varum teflon piston stainless steel parayunga okay in 90% of patients there is good improvement in hearing after step like സ്റ്റേപ്പ് ലൈറ്റ് കംപ്ലീറ്റ് ആയിട്ട് നമ്മൾ ആ ഒരു ഫുഡ് പ്ലേറ്റ് ഉൾപ്പെടെ റിമൂവ് ചെയ്തതിന് ശേഷം നമ്മൾ പ്രോസസ്സ് വരുമ്പോൾ പേഷ്യൻ്റിൽ നിന്ന് ഹിയറിങ് കംപ്ലീറ്റ് ആയിട്ട് ഇമ്പ്രൂവ് ചെയ്യാനായിട്ട് കാണാൻ സാധിക്കും ഓൾമോസ്റ്റ് നയൻറ്റി പെർസെൻറ്റ് ഓഫ് കേസ് സോ ദിസ് ഈസ് ദിസ് ഹിറോട്ടിക് ലേഷൻ ദർ ഇസ് ഓവർ ഗ്രോത്ത് മോൺ കൻ ബി സീൻ അറ്റ് ദി ഫുഡ് പ്ലേറ്റ് ഓഫ് ദ സ്റ്റേപ്പ് ഇസ് സോ കംപ്ലീറ്റ് റിമൂവൽ ഓഫ് ദി സ്റ്റേപ്പ് ഇസ് സ്റ്റേപ്പ് ഇസ് കംപ്ലീറ്റ് ആയിട്ട് റിമൂവ് ചെയ്തു ആൻഡ് പ്രോസസ്സ് ഇസ് ഈസ് അറ്റാച്ച് സം ബോൺ നമ്മൾ റിമൂവ് ചെയ്തതിന് ശേഷം പ്രോസസ്സ് നമ്മൾ ഇവിടെ അറ്റാച്ച് ചെയ്തു ഓക്കെ ദിസ് ഇസ് ആർട്ടിഫിഷ്യൽ സ്റ്റേപ്പ് The indications for performing this step-rectomy in general. 
First is autosclerosis and congenital fixation of instables and the birth itself there will be uh, is uh, minimum wage or in many of the cases patient may have fixation of the stapes at the birth itself so it can be one age with stapelectomy and tipanosclerosis and labyrinthitis okay labyrinthitis means it's an inflammatory conditions of the labyrinth or inner ear these all we have discussed in the previous class okay in contraindications how we can we should not perform this procedure if the patient had sensory neural deafness. So it cannot be managed with stapelectomy. Hearing ear, the external or middle ear infections and perforations in the ear drum than young children. Because in the young children, the registration too will be more, um, very small. So when comparing with that of adult, there will be more chance for getting infections if you are performing this procedure in young children. Okay, so these are the main contraindications of stapelectomy. Sensory neural deafness, it cannot be managed with stapelectomy. Then hearing ear, hearing ear, an external or medial infection, perforation in ear to and children. So this is a picture of how we can perform stapelectomy. Here, the complete staple is removed, and this is the artificial or prosthesis. Prosthesis. Okay. This is in cus, and this is the anesthesia of stapelectomy it can be performed under local anesthesia and positions of the patient will be supine position with the head turned to the opposite side of disease this is here then stapelectomy the steps of surgery include first we have to perform immediate incisions and elevations of the tympanum major form just a description of the procedure of stapelectomy immediate incision has to be performed and elevate the tympanum major flap to expose the food plate of the stapes and exposure of the stapes area, removal of the stapes superstructure and creation of the hole in the stapes food plate and the stapes optomy and the stapes removal or removal of a part of food plate in the stapelectomy and placement of the processes after removing the stapes, stapes the other lesional stapes removal initiation we can place the processes and repositioning the tympano major flap so this is the procedure of stapelectomy okay so this is a picture overgrowth of bone this is the first picture okay this is stapes this is the overgrowth of bone some bone has to be removed then artificial stapes has to be implanted process of this replaces the deceased bone this is the bone number removal initiation process like Okay, this is another picture. Here we are performing or using the piston processes. The step is put Okay. This is my fun process. Place. We can we can use different forms of prosthesis material. Okay. This is another clear picture. This is malleus, this is incus, this is tapis. So here you can see the overgrowth of bone. And a faucet can be inserted through this eardrum and through this we can remove this part. Then the hole made in the food plate. We can perform an incision in this food plate through which we can attach this process. Okay, a food plate is a hole created in the completed process. The post operative care antibiotics and analgesics has to be have to be administered to relieve their risk of infections as well as to the pain. Lab in the sedatives are given to control readiness because after the procedure, sometimes the patient may be having a feeling of vertigo due to the changes in the vestibular function. So to relieve that, uh, relieve that uh, discomfort, we can manage with lab in the sedatives. And decongestants can be given to decongest the station tube and middle ear cleft because after the procedure, sometimes the patient may be having conditions in the station tube. So to relieve can cause imbalance in the pressure and it may activate to develop the giddiness also. So to remove that uh, condition, we can manage with decongestants. And swimming and flying should be avoided for three to four months because swimming can promote the infections as well as flying can promote the changes in the or barotrauma can prevent it. Okay. 
and complications of autosclerosis perforations of the tympanic membrane while performing this procedure sometimes there may be perforations in the tympanic membrane or eardrum sensory neurodefense can be happened and giddiness and vomiting it is mainly due to the labyrinthine trauma infection of palsy it can occur as it causes above the oval wind oval wind is above it and infection of palsy and only chilapum sometimes if you are performing this procedure it can cause injury to the nerve so that patient may have Fetal nerve palsy. Then periwinkle fistula can be happen at the oval window and conductive deafness. These are the complications of step like this procedure. The other is step is mobilization. It was discovered before step like this. In the initial stage, we had discovered this procedure. The success rate was very short, so that we nowadays this is not performed very common. Nowadays we are mainly performing step like this. So early fixation being quite common. Then the fenestration procedure, Lampard's fenestration operation is almost outdated now. It was a, it was performed in the early stage. A fenestra means it's a window or opening. It is made on the lateral semicircular canal to function for the obliterated oval window. Because oval window is commonly attached with this uh, foot plate of a stapes. So in the auto cirrhosis, the foot plate is covered with the lesion. So we have to create an artificial window in that semicircular canal. It results in permanent open mastoid cavity associated with its problems and hearing improvement is partial. So our opening on the permanent pattern is the same. Other than the mastoid cavity opening create a certain. So it can be leading to several complications or several infections. So nowadays it is not performed. It is if you put in chain a step directly. Then hearing aids we can manage with hearing aids because Stepidial uh, autosclerosis can be managed with hearing, hearing, and kind of hearing loss and all down. Okay. Then prescribed for the patients who are unfit for surgery or are not willing for operations, it is very much used. Um, as few ways through which we can improve the hearing. Okay. Okay. Uh, in this Session we have mainly discussed regarding what is autosclerosis and what is it, what are the types of autosclerosis. Or if they can only discuss it, uh, what are the important channels, silver different section which we can answer the questions. Then uh, we had seen what are the management. There is no specific medical management for this condition, only we can manage with surgery. Surgery, okay. That stipendium is very, very important, and we had seen how it performs. Okay, I hope you got an idea regarding this. Uh, condition as well as its management. Please go through this now, and if you have any doubt, you can ask me. Okay, thank you.